it will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 89 degrees, relative humidity 36%. Pressure 30.06 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 84 degrees, relative humidity 54%. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 84 degrees, relative humidity 54%. Wind east at 12 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 45%. Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees, relative humidity 50%. Dickinson, cloudy. 90 degrees, relative humidity 32%. Wind north at 9 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 85 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 87. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 82 at Fargo, 83 at Grand Forks, and 82 at Devil's Lake. At Williston, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 80. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 90 at Mobridge, and 84 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, at Mile City, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 86. At Sydney, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 81. At Glendive, 
it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 89 degrees under mostly sunny skies. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mobridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, at Mile City, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91. At Sydney, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 88. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL78 in Bismarck, North Dakota, operating on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Providing weather information 24 hours a day from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Menden listening area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts. For Western Lake Seconkawea, rest of today, 
Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sakakawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Orahi, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mandan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mobridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, at Mile City, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91. At Sydney, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 88. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. 
chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Williston, 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mobridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91 at Mile City, and 88 at Sydney. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. 
a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Williston, 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mobridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91 at Mile City, and 88 at Sydney. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. 
It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts. For western Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Williston, 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mulbridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. 
In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91 at Mile City and 88 at Sydney. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour chance of rain 30 percent friday mostly sunny with a chance of showers a slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon highs in the mid 70s north winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour chance of rain 40 percent friday night mostly clear lows in the mid 50s saturday mostly sunny highs in the upper 70s saturday night mostly clear Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts. For western Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%.
Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Williston, 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mulbridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91 at Miles City, and 88 at Sydney. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL78 in Bismarck, North Dakota, operating on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Providing weather information 24 hours a day from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Men and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds, a chance of showers, a chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight, lows in the upper 50s, north winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, chance of rain 30%, Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers, a slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon, highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Orahi, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. 
Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Williston, 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mulbridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91 at Mile City, and 88 at Sydney. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Men and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts. For western Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, 
Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sakakawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Williston, 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mulbridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91 at Mile City, and 88 at Sydney. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Men and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. 
Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Orahi, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Williston, 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mulbridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91 at Mile City, and 88 at Sydney. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Men and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. 
Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Orahi, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Williston, 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mulbridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91 at Mile City, and 88 at Sydney. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. 
Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mandan listening area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts. For Western Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, South winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 30%, heat index 92. Wind west at 6 miles an hour. Pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 48%, heat index 90. Wind northeast at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind northeast at 8 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 39%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 52%. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 85 degrees, relative humidity 44%. Wind north at 16 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 87 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Williston, 84 at Grand Forks, and 84 at Devil's Lake. At Fargo, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 92 at Mobridge, and 86 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 91 at Mile City, and 88 at Sydney. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. 
Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and listening area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL78 in Bismarck, North Dakota, operating on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Providing weather information 24 hours a day from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, mostly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees. Relative humidity 55%. Heat index 104. Pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Mendan, mostly sunny. 90 degrees. Relative humidity 40%. Heat index 90. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 37%. Wind northeast at 7 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 84 degrees, relative humidity 48%.
Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees, relative humidity 56%. Wind southeast at 7 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 82 degrees, relative humidity 50%. Wind northeast at 14 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. At Devil's Lake, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83 at Fargo, and 85 at Grand Forks. In northern South Dakota, it was sunny. It was 93 at Mobridge, and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 88 at Mile City, and 90 at Sydney. At Glendive, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 82. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under mostly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Men and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour chance of rain 30 percent friday mostly sunny with a chance of showers a slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon highs in the mid 70s north winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour chance of rain 40 percent friday night mostly clear lows in the mid 50s saturday mostly sunny highs in the upper 70s saturday night mostly clear Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts. For western Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, South winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. 
Here are the weather conditions at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 55%, heat index 104. Pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Mendan, partly sunny. 90 degrees, relative humidity 40%, heat index 90. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 37%. Wind northeast at 7 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 84 degrees, relative humidity 48%. Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees, relative humidity 56%. Wind southeast at 7 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 82 degrees, relative humidity 50%. Wind northeast at 14 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. It was sunny, with a temperature of 89 at Williston and 88 at Jamestown. At Devil's Lake, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83 at Fargo and 85 at Grand Forks. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 93 at Mobridge and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny. It was 88 at Mile City, 82 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under partly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mendon listening area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts. For western Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. 
Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For Northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 55%, heat index 104. Pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Mendan, partly sunny. 90 degrees, relative humidity 40%, heat index 90. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 37%. Wind northeast at 7 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 84 degrees, relative humidity 48%. Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees, relative humidity 56%. Wind southeast at 7 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 82 degrees, relative humidity 50%. Wind northeast at 14 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. It was sunny, with a temperature of 89 at Williston and 88 at Jamestown. At Devil's Lake, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83 at Fargo and 85 at Grand Forks. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 93 at Mobridge and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny. It was 88 at Mile City, 82 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under partly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. 
Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sakakawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sakakawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 55%, heat index 104. Pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Mandan, partly sunny. 90 degrees, relative humidity 40%, heat index 90. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 37%. Wind northeast at 7 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 84 degrees, relative humidity 48%. Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees, relative humidity 56%. Wind southeast at 7 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 82 degrees, relative humidity 50%. Wind northeast at 14 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. It was sunny, with a temperature of 89 at Williston and 88 at Jamestown. At Devil's Lake, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83 at Fargo and 85 at Grand Forks. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 93 at Mobridge and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny. It was 88 at Mile City, 82 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under partly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Menden listening area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour.
chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 55%, heat index 104. Pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Mandan, partly sunny. 90 degrees, relative humidity 40%, heat index 90. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 37%. Wind northeast at 7 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 84 degrees, relative humidity 48%. Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees, relative humidity 56%. Wind southeast at 7 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 82 degrees, relative humidity 50%. Wind northeast at 14 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. It was sunny, with a temperature of 89 at Williston and 88 at Jamestown. At Devil's Lake, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83 at Fargo and 85 at Grand Forks. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 93 at Mobridge and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny. It was 88 at Mile City, 82 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under partly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. 
Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL78 in Bismarck, North Dakota, operating on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Providing weather information 24 hours a day from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Orahi, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees. Relative humidity 55%. Heat index 104. Pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Mendan, partly sunny. 90 degrees. Relative humidity 40%. Heat index 90. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees. Relative humidity 37%. Wind northeast at 7 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 84 degrees. Relative humidity 48%. Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees. Relative humidity 56%. Wind southeast at 7 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 82 degrees. Relative humidity 50%. Wind northeast at 14 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. It was sunny, with a temperature of 89 at Williston and 88 at Jamestown. At Devil's Lake, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83 at Fargo and 85 at Grand Forks. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 93 at Mobridge and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny. It was 88 at Mile City, 82 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under partly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. 
Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mound and listening area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds, a chance of showers, a chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight, lows in the upper 50s, north winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, chance of rain 30%, Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers, a slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon, highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees. Relative humidity 55%. Heat index 104. Pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Mandan, partly sunny. 90 degrees. Relative humidity 40%. Heat index 90. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 37%. Wind northeast at 7 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 84 degrees, relative humidity 48%. Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees, relative humidity 56%. Wind southeast at 7 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 82 degrees, relative humidity 50%. Wind northeast at 14 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. It was sunny, with a temperature of 89 at Williston and 88 at Jamestown. At Devil's Lake, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83 at Fargo and 85 at Grand Forks. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. 
It was 93 at Mulbridge and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny. It was 88 at Mile City, 82 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under partly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mandan listening area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour chance of rain 30 percent friday mostly sunny with a chance of showers a slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon highs in the mid 70s north winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour chance of rain 40 percent friday night mostly clear lows in the mid 50s saturday mostly sunny highs in the upper 70s saturday night mostly clear Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts. For western Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, South winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 55%, heat index 104. Pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Mandan, partly sunny. 90 degrees, relative humidity 40%, heat index 90. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 37%. Wind northeast at 7 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 84 degrees, relative humidity 48%. Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees, 
relative humidity 56%, wind southeast at 7 miles an hour, Dickinson, cloudy, 82 degrees, relative humidity 50%, wind northeast at 14 miles an hour, elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison, it was sunny, with a temperature of 89 at Williston and 88 at Jamestown. At Devil's Lake, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83 at Fargo and 85 at Grand Forks. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 93 at Mulbridge and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny. It was 88 at Mile City, 82 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under partly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts for western Lake Sekonkawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time.
Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 55%, heat index 104. Pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Mendan, partly sunny. 90 degrees, relative humidity 40%, heat index 90. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 37%. Wind northeast at 7 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 84 degrees, relative humidity 48%. Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees, relative humidity 56%. Wind southeast at 7 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 82 degrees, relative humidity 50%. Wind northeast at 14 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. It was sunny, with a temperature of 89 at Williston and 88 at Jamestown. At Devil's Lake, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83 at Fargo and 85 at Grand Forks. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 93 at Mobridge and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny. It was 88 at Miles City, 82 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under partly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mendon listening area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts. For western Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening then clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, 
southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 93 degrees, relative humidity 55%, heat index 104. Pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Mandan, partly sunny. 90 degrees, relative humidity 40%, heat index 90. Wind east at 6 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 37%. Wind northeast at 7 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 84 degrees, relative humidity 48%. Minot, partly sunny. 81 degrees, relative humidity 56%. Wind southeast at 7 miles an hour. Dickinson, cloudy. 82 degrees, relative humidity 50%. Wind northeast at 14 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. It was sunny, with a temperature of 89 at Williston and 88 at Jamestown. At Devil's Lake, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83 at Fargo and 85 at Grand Forks. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 93 at Mobridge and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny. It was 88 at Mile City, 82 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 93 degrees under partly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts 
for western Lake Sakakawea. Rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Mostly cloudy in the evening and clearing. Lows in the upper 50s. For eastern Lake Sakakawea, rest of today, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms through the night. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. For northern Lake Oahe, rest of today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL78 in Bismarck, North Dakota, operating on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Providing weather information 24 hours a day from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Here are the weather conditions at 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 91 degrees, relative humidity 55%, heat index 99. Wind east at 7 miles an hour. Pressure 30.00 inches and falling. Mandan, partly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind east at 7 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 42%. Wind northeast at 9 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 45%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 62%. Dickinson, cloudy. 87 degrees, relative humidity 43%. Wind east at 15 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. At Jamestown, it was sunny, with a temperature of 88. At Fargo, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 83. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Grand Forks, and 82 at Devil's Lake. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 93 at Mobridge, and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, it was mostly sunny. It was 90 at Miles City, 84 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 91 degrees under partly sunny skies. The regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and listening area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%.
Can you hear me now? Test one, two, test one, two. Anybody out there? Can you hear me now? Hello? I think I got it. I think I got it. Do I have it? Can you hear me now? Test one, two, test one, two. I think I got it. All right. I see the problem here. It was not going out. Um, my microphone said it was working. I saw my little bars going, but it was not going out. So I apologize for that. I did not know that. Thank you for the heads up. Wow. Okay. That's uh, That's too bad. Okay, well, to recap what I was saying before you couldn't hear me, um, let's see, let's go to Rapid City. Uh, basically, just uh, we've got a couple of areas of just maybe some small, small hail uh, east of Tilford, uh, east of Piedmont, and then uh, kind of in the southern Black Hills area, south of the Hill City. Um, where we're looking at maybe some small hail with that. Uh, your best chance for seeing anything any hail-wise is down uh, kind of in the southern parts of the Black Hills uh, region. But at this point, everything uh, is below severe limits. Uh, they're saying, at least the Weather Service is saying, 40 mile per hour winds and anywhere from a half inch to three quarter inch hail uh, with, uh, with these uh, storms that are kind of moving down to the southeast at about 25 miles per hour. Uh, at the very least, uh, you're going to probably be seeing some pretty heavy rains with this, uh, especially this area up and through uh, north of Somerset and then down uh, south of Hill City, obviously. Uh, but these storms are expected to kind of continue to push uh, to the southeast. And I think uh, once we get closer to uh, sundown is probably when you're mostly going to be seeing these storms uh, decaying. Uh, Duluth, uh, we continue to have... Uh, just the, these areas that uh, were, if I put this into motion, this rain just kind of continues to move over the same areas uh, over and over again. We've had uh, uh, these flash flood warnings here uh, kind of outlined here in the green uh, where they're saying anywhere from, I think, uh, one to, I think this was one to two inches with another one to two expected. And this was like uh, two to four inches of rain has fallen with another inch uh, or two expected. Uh, so if you're basically, you know, between that Duluth and Minneapolis area, uh, just be mindful of the possibility of some flooding uh, occurring, um, uh, as these uh, storms just really aren't uh, moving much, uh, very, very, very slowly sliding down to the South, uh, kind of just moving over the same areas and, uh, some really heavy rains with these, um, there is probably a little bit of hail uh, occasionally associated with this. We did have a hail report up here near Tamarack with one inch hail earlier. Uh, that's in Aiken County. Uh, this one by Kettle River, uh, this storm right here, uh, was a little bit uh, more intense a little while ago, so they probably were seeing some hail out of that. Uh, that has uh, kind of decreased, but uh, that's also something to be mindful of is just I uh, wouldn't be surprised uh, if uh, on occasion you get a little bit of hail out of these storms here in eastern parts of uh, Minnesota as well. Uh, some of these a little bit further to the north and to uh, northern parts of uh, Minnesota, same thing, uh, just you know, some scattered areas might have some very small hail briefly with uh, some of these. Looks like we got a report here in St. Louis County right near Brimson of a, of a half inch hail. Um, so uh, not surprising. And I think that'll probably, again, kind of continue here uh, through the evening hours, um, you know, probably till about eight, nine o'clock once that sun kind of goes down. Uh, down here in Minneapolis, uh, there's a pretty uh, decent storm down here. We're probably looking at uh, three quarter inch hail, uh, maybe some 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts associated with this. Finally, uh, the, the heavier stuff is sliding now south of Invergrove, uh, but I definitely would think you're probably seeing some hail associated with that, at least three quarter inch, uh, as this uh, has been fairly slow uh, to move down to the south and out of the metro area. Uh, so wouldn't be surprised at least if you see some areas across uh, uh, the metro where you know probably must see some flooding in in, in a few spots. Uh, right now there is no warnings out like there is a little bit further to the north. Um, and jeez, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, 
No, I don't care for that stuff. You can, you want to, you want to have a potty mouth, you can go somewhere else. This isn't the place for it, obviously. Um, but yeah, this is uh, down in the south, the uh, southern parts of uh, the Twin Cities area. Uh, we're probably seeing some, uh, some heavier rains and a little bit of hail associated with this as well. Same type of thing, not really expecting this um, uh, to decrease probably until uh, you get kind of closer to, to sundown, probably um, 8 or, or, or so o'clock tonight. Um, then uh, beyond that, uh, take a look at the model. <clears throat> yeah, that just, I don't know, that irks me when, it, come on guys, have some class. Why do you, why do you need to, why do you need to spout the garbage everywhere you go? Um, well, we're looking at, we've got uh, the supper level low that's kind of coming out of Canada. And so uh, we still have some decent Cape values across eastern parts of uh, North Dakota. So definitely looking at the possibility of seeing some additional storms develop across the central and eastern parts of North Dakota through the overnight hours. This is right around 1 a.m. You can see these storms developing and along with some storms continuing across central parts of Minnesota as well. Probably in uh, somewhat uh, in reaction to this, uh, this uh, wave approaching uh, as well. Uh, but that kind of persists uh, through the overnight hours. And you can see, as I put this into motion, this uh, this low just kind of dumbbelling around. You can see the uh, storms just kind of rotating around this low. So as we get into Thursday, additional uh, showers and storms across eastern uh, Dakotas and especially in across uh, uh, Minnesota as well. Same type of deal, maybe... Uh, some very small hail once in a while, briefly associated with uh, a couple of these uh, cells. Uh, your best chance are probably going to be across southern parts of Minnesota, uh, where you might see a little bit of hail, maybe some brief gusty winds. You might even see uh, a storm where it's going to be uh, reach severe levels briefly, where you might get a warning out there uh, late Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. Um, and then uh, once again, once the sun kind of goes down after eight or nine o'clock, those storms will dissipate. We'll be left with a little bit of shower activity through the overnight hours uh, on Thursday night and into Friday morning. And then uh, as the heating takes place once again on Friday, more showers and storms across eastern Dakotas and across Minnesota. Not as good a chance for seeing any kind of strong to severe uh, on Friday. Uh, Little, little less chance. The chance is still there, but not as good. Um, and then Saturday, this low finally takes its time moving out so that we might still be left with uh, a few showers. Um, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's see, a few showers left over. Come on. On Saturday here, you can see, especially across southern parts of Minnesota, and then as we get into Sunday, Sunday is definitely looking uh, to be a little drier as that uh, that low finally moves out of the uh, out of the region. Uh, the other good thing is, um, at least as far as I'm concerned, what I think is a good thing, um, temperatures won't be quite as hot. Uh, we've got a little bit warmer here today, today across the Dakotas, uh, but once we get uh, into Thursday, we're looking at uh, 70s across the north, 80s across the south, maybe near 90 across portions of South Dakota. Uh, but then once we get into Friday, um, a widespread 70s across the region, a little bit of low 80s across western South Dakota on Friday, and then Saturday, uh, more of the same as we get uh, uh, widespread 70s across uh, eastern Dakotas into Minnesota, some low 80s across western uh, South Dakota, but really uh, an overall comfortable type of weekend. The only thing uh, might be uh, a little bit of humidity left across Minnesota through the weekend. So even though the temperatures are going to be in the 70s, some dew points will still be left into the 60s. So it might still feel a little muggy across Minnesota, um, but it won't, uh, won't be too bad uh, for us out there. Um, talked about uh, the possibility of seeing some auroras, uh, some northern lights uh, tonight and into Thursday night as well. Uh, so just taking a look at the simulated reflectivity uh, according to the model here. And uh, as we get into the overnight hour, this is uh, this is right around midnight or so. You can see some of those storms that are expected to develop in through uh, North Dakota. Uh, so I think central parts of uh, the Dakotas um, might be a little tougher for seeing the aurora, especially uh, earlier on. And then as you get a little bit deeper into the night, uh, mainly into uh, eastern uh uh, eastern parts of the Dakotas and in through central parts of Minnesota, uh, expecting to see some cloud cover. So 
probably uh, southern Minnesota and western Dakotas are going to be your best chance for seeing uh, those northern lights, possibly across northern Minnesota as well. And then uh, for Thursday night, uh, not looking real great again, once again, across Minnesota uh, and eastern parts of uh, North Dakota. Probably your best chance for Thursday night for seeing uh, the Aurora, for seeing the Northern Lights uh, might be into the uh, Western Dakotas. So uh, if that's something that kind of interests you, um, especially I think if you're in the Western Dakotas, you probably got the best chance for seeing them. Uh, unfortunately for those of us in through Eastern uh, North Dakota and parts of Minnesota, not such a great chance uh, giving, uh, given this storm, given this low pressure that just kind of wants a dumbbell around and continue to give us the cloud cover. So uh, that's the uh, only bad thing there. Uh, but that's uh, that's all I've got, I guess. Um, we're going to continue to just uh, monitor and see uh, if anything does develop a little bit further to the north and through North Dakota as we get into the evening hours. Uh, looks like this stuff kind of in through western South Dakota. It's just kind of maintaining. Uh, not, I don't expect anything to all of a sudden become severe out of this. Uh, I don't uh, really not expecting anything to, I guess, change at this point in the afternoon uh, through uh, western South Dakota. Uh, same with Duluth. Uh, don't really expect anything to change here. Uh, just some scattered activity, uh, some flooding concerns uh, will continue uh, at least through the early evening hours. Uh, maybe some isolated areas where you might see a little bit of small hail, uh, but that's about it. So uh, that's kind of what I've got here uh, this uh, afternoon or early evening, depending on what you want to call it. I don't know. It took me a little bit to get the microphone. I apologize for that. Like I said, my little monitor here said it was working, but uh, I figured it out. I, I had to click off a button earlier so you couldn't hear me while I was doing other stuff. So uh, I will be hanging around. If you got any questions, be, uh, feel free to ask on the chat. And... Um, yeah, you might just see me just kind of quietly working here for a little bit. I will turn off the microphone at this point. Um, but you might, uh, you, you know, you might just see me quietly working and just getting some stuff done off to the side once in a while. But uh, otherwise, um, yeah, please feel free to ask questions. Hit the like button. I would appreciate that. That does me, uh, helps me out quite a bit and also uh, helps other people find this channel. Uh, so if they're looking for weather information across the Dakotas and Minnesota, you can find it right here at Region Weather Live. So, all right, folks, uh, we will check in with you after a bit. Today, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Tonight, south winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight, then shifting to the northwest early in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Here are the weather conditions at 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bismarck, partly sunny. Temperature 91 degrees. Relative humidity 55%, heat index 99. Wind east at 7 miles an hour. Pressure 30.00 inches and falling. Mendan, partly sunny. 88 degrees, relative humidity 40%. Wind east at 7 miles an hour. Hazen, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 42%. Wind northeast at 9 miles an hour. Harvey, fair. 86 degrees, relative humidity 45%. Minot, partly sunny. 80 degrees, relative humidity 62%. Dickinson, partly sunny. 87 degrees, relative humidity 43%. Wind east at 15 miles an hour. Elsewhere around North Dakota, it was 83 at Garrison. It was sunny, with a temperature of 89 at Williston and 88 at Jamestown. At Fargo, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 83. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 86 at Grand Forks, and 82 at Devil's Lake. In northern South Dakota, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 93 at Mobridge, and 88 at Aberdeen. In eastern Montana, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 90 at Mile City, 84 at Glendive, and 90 at Sydney. Once again, at Bismarck, the temperature was 91 degrees under partly sunny skies.
the regional weather forecast from your National Weather Service office in Bismarck. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will move from west to east across the region today and tonight. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but an isolated stronger storm is possible. Highs this afternoon are expected to range from the mid-80s to mid-90s. Chances for showers and a few thunderstorms will continue across the eastern half of the region from Thursday into the weekend. It will also become much cooler across the eastern Dakotas and Minnesota, with daytime highs only in the 60s and 70s. Western parts of the region are expected to be drier and slightly warmer through the weekend. Here is the forecast for the Bismarck Mend and Listening Area. Rest of today, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly sunny. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 80. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, increasing clouds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 50s. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Monday, sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Here are the recreation area forecasts. For western Lake Sekonkawea, rest of today, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the north in the late evening and overnight. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Goodbye, bench press. Don't give up what you love. State Farm has options like insuring your home and ride with great rates on both. Nice. Hey, can I buy you a protein shake or a granola bar? Or... For surprisingly great rates, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com for a quote today. The relative humidity was 47. It was fair, with a temperature of 70. Around Minnesota, at Duluth, rain was falling, with a temperature of 68. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 74 at Rochester, 77 at Mankato, 83 at St. Cloud, 80 at Bemidji, and 77 at International Falls. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 81 at Brainerd, and 76 at Hibbing. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was sunny, with a temperature of 82. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 80 at Eau Claire, and 81 at La Crosse. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 73 at New Richmond, 78 at Milwaukee, and 79 at Madison. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were in the lower to mid-80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from mostly sunny to partly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. Once again at 5 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 82 degrees, under partly sunny skies.
This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 5.44 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Dakota, Washington, Ramsey, until 6.30 p.m. At 4.58 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to one inch of rain has already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include St. Paul, Maplewood, West St. Paul, Newport, St. Paul Airport, South Maplewood and St. Paul Batlagrec Regional Park. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southwestern Chisago, northeastern Anoka and eastern Isani counties through 6 p.m. At 5.36 p.m., trained weather spotters reported a strong thunderstorm over Cambridge, moving southeast at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-sized hail. Severe weather has been confirmed by trained spotters. Nickel to quarter-sized hail has been reported with this storm. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. The strong thunderstorm will be near Isanti around 5.45 p.m. Other locations in the path of the storm include East Bethel and Stacy. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 141 and 144. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of central Dakota and southwestern Washington counties through 6.15 p.m. At 5.44 p.m., Doppel radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Rosemount, or 13 miles south of St. Paul, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and penny-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Farmington. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Rest of today, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Near steady temperature around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday, decreasing clouds. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers with thunderstorms likely in the evening, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms overnight. 
patchy fog overnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 80%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, partly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for the rest of today, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Near steady temperature around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. The Twin Cities, Minnesota climate summary is at 4 p.m., August 17, 2022. So far today the high temperature has been 82 degrees, which occurred at 3 p.m. So far today the low temperature has been 64 degrees. No precipitation has fallen. No snow has fallen. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. At 5 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was partly sunny. It was 82 degrees. The dew point was 60. The relative humidity was 47%. The wind was southwest at 7 miles an hour, gusting to 22. The pressure was 30.09 inches and steady. Around the metro, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 66 at St. Paul and 76 at South St. Paul. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 81 at Lakeville and 82 at Crystal. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 81 at Eden Prairie and 72 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 70. Around Minnesota, at Duluth, rain was falling, with a temperature of 68. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 74 at Rochester, 77 at Mankato, 83 at St. Cloud, 80 at Bemidji, and 77 at International Falls. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 81 at Brainerd, and 76 at Hibbing. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was sunny, with a temperature of 82. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 80 at Eau Claire, and 81 at La Crosse. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 73 at New Richmond, 78 at Milwaukee, and 79 at Madison. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were in the lower to mid-80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from mostly sunny to partly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. Once again at 5 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 82 degrees, under partly sunny skies. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul, on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 5.53 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Dakota, Washington, Ramsey, until 6.30 p.m. At 4.58 p.m., 
Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to one inch of rain has already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include St. Paul, Maplewood, West St. Paul, Newport, St. Paul Airport, South Maplewood and St. Paul Batlagrec Regional Park. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southwestern Chisago, northeastern Anoka and eastern Isani counties through 6 p.m. At 5.36 p.m., trained weather spotters reported a strong thunderstorm over Cambridge, moving southeast at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. Severe weather has been confirmed by trained spotters. Nickel to quarter-sized hail has been reported with this storm. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. The strong thunderstorm will be near Isanti around 5.45 p.m. Other locations in the path of the storm include East Bethel and Stacy. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 141 and 144. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of central Dakota and southwestern Washington counties through 6.15 p.m. At 5.44 p.m., Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Rosemount, or 13 miles south of St. Paul, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and penny-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Farmington. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Rest of today, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Near steady temperature around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday, decreasing clouds. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers with thunderstorms likely in the evening, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms overnight. Patchy fog overnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 80%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, partly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. 
highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for the rest of today, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Near steady temperature around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. At 5 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was partly sunny. It was 82 degrees. The dew point was 60. The relative humidity was 47%. The wind was southwest at 7 miles an hour, gusting to 22. The pressure was 30.09 inches and steady. Around the metro, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 66 at St. Paul and 76 at South St. Paul. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 81 at Lakeville and 82 at Crystal. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 81 at Eden Prairie and 72 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 70. Around Minnesota, at Duluth, rain was falling, with a temperature of 68. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 74 at Rochester, 77 at Mankato, 83 at St. Cloud, 80 at Bemidji, and 77 at International Falls. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 81 at Brainerd, and 76 at Ibbing. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was sunny, with a temperature of 82. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 80 at Eau Claire, and 81 at La Crosse. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 73 at New Richmond, 78 at Milwaukee, and 79 at Madison. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were in the lower to mid-80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from mostly sunny to partly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. Once again at 5 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 82 degrees, under partly sunny skies. The Twin Cities, Minnesota Climate Summary is at 4 p.m., August 17, 2022. So far today the high temperature has been 82 degrees, which occurred at 3 p.m., so far today the low temperature has been 64 degrees. No precipitation has fallen. No snow has fallen. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota and transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 6.02 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Dakota, Washington, Ramsey, until 6.30 p.m. At 4.58 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to one inch of rain has already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include St. Paul, Maplewood, West St. Paul, Newport, St. Paul Airport, South Maplewood and St. Paul Batlagrec Regional Park. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. 
on a frequency of 162.550 megahertz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSPP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 6.04 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Dakota, Washington, Ramsey, until 6.30 p.m. At 4.58 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to one inch of rain has already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include St. Paul, Maplewood, West St. Paul, Newport, St. Paul Airport, South Maplewood and St. Paul Batlagrec Regional Park. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of central Dakota and southwestern Washington counties through 6.15 p.m. At 5.44 p.m., Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Rosemount or 13 miles south of St. Paul, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and penny-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Farmington, if outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of west-central Chisago, north-central Anoka and southeastern Isani counties through 6.30 p.m. At 6.03 p.m., Doppel radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Cambridge, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and half-inch hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. The strong thunderstorm will be near Isanti around 6.15 p.m. Other locations in the path of the storm include East Bethel. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 143 and 145. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west-central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, sky warn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Rest of today, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Near steady temperature around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday, decreasing clouds. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers with thunderstorms likely in the evening, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms overnight. Patchy fog overnight. 
Lows in the lower 60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 80%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid 70s. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, partly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for the rest of today, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Near steady temperature around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. The Twin Cities, Minnesota climate summary is at 4 p.m., August 17, 2022. So far today the high temperature has been 82 degrees, which occurred at 3 p.m. So far today the low temperature has been 64 degrees. No precipitation has fallen. No snow has fallen. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. At 6 p.m., in the Twin Cities, a thunderstorm was reported. The visibility was 5 miles. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was east at 20 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches and rising. Around the metro, at South St. Paul, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 65. At St. Paul, rain was falling with a temperature of 68. It was mostly sunny with a temperature of 79 at Lakeville and 79 at Eden Prairie. At Crystal, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 76. At Lane, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 66. Around Minnesota, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Mankato, 82 at Bemidji, and 78 at International Falls. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 80 at St. Cloud, 82 at Brainerd, 70 at Duluth, and 73 at Hibbing. At Rochester, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 76. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was sunny, with a temperature of 82. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Eau Claire, and 82 at La Crosse. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 73 at New Richmond, 77 at Milwaukee, and 79 at Madison. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were in the lower to mid-80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 6 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees, with a thunderstorm. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 6.13 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Dakota, Washington, Ramsey, 
until 6.30 p.m. At 4.58 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to one inch of rain has already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include St. Paul, Maplewood, West St. Paul, Newport, St. Paul Airport, South Maplewood and St. Paul Matlagrec Regional Park. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of central Dakota and southwestern Washington counties through 6.15 p.m. At 5.44 p.m., Doppel radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Rosemount, or 13 miles south of St. Paul, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and penny-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Farmington. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of west-central Chisago, north-central Iloka and southeastern Isani counties through 6.30 p.m. At 6.03 p.m., Doppel radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Cambridge, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and half-inch hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. The strong thunderstorm will be near Isanti around 6.15 p.m. Other locations in the path of the storm include East Bethel. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 143 and 145. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Rest of today, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Near steady temperature around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday, decreasing clouds. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers with thunderstorms likely in the evening, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms overnight. Patchy fog overnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 80%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, partly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%.
Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for the rest of today, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Near steady temperature around 80. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. The Twin Cities Minnesota Climate Summary is at 4 p.m., August 17, 2022. So far today the high temperature has been 82 degrees, which occurred at 3 p.m. So far today the low temperature has been 64 degrees. No precipitation has fallen. No snow has fallen. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. At 6 p.m., in the Twin Cities, a thunderstorm was reported, the visibility was 5 miles. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was east at 20 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches and rising. Around the metro, at South St. Paul, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 65. At Eden Prairie, it was mostly sunny with a temperature of 79. It was partly sunny with a temperature of 79 at Lakeville and 76 at Crystal. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul and 72 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 66. 
around Minnesota, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Mankato and 78 at International Falls. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 80 at St. Cloud, 82 at Brainerd, 82 at Bemidji, 70 at Duluth, and 73 at Hibbing. At Rochester, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 76. In Wisconsin, it was sunny, with a temperature of 82 at La Crosse, and 82 at Green Bay. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Eau Claire, 77 at Milwaukee, and 79 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 73. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were in the lower to mid-80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 6 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees, with a thunderstorm. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis St. Paul on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 6.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Dakota, Washington, Ramsey, until 6.30 p.m. At 4.58 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to one inch of rain has already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include St. Paul, Maplewood, West St. Paul, Newport, St. Paul Airport, South Maplewood and St. Paul Batlick Rec Regional Park. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of west-central Chisago, north-central Anoka and southeastern Isani counties through 6.30 p.m. At 6.03 p.m., Doppel radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Cambridge, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and half-inch hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. The strong thunderstorm will be near Isanti around 6.15 p.m. Other locations in the path of the storm include East Bethel. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 143 and 145. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of central Dakota County through 6.45 p.m. At 6.20 p.m., Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Rosemount, or 16 miles north of Northfield, moving south at 10 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and half-inch hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. This storm will remain over mainly rural areas of central Dakota County, including the following locations, Coates, Vermilion, Hampton, Randolph and New Trier. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. 
for tonight. Isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 6 p.m. in the Twin Cities, a thunderstorm was reported. The visibility was 5 miles. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was east at 20 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches and rising. Around the metro, at South St. Paul, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 65. At Eden Prairie, it was mostly sunny with a temperature of 79. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Lakeville and 76 at Crystal. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul and 72 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 66. Around Minnesota, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Mankato and 78 at International Falls. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 80 at St. Cloud, 82 at Brainerd, 82 at Bemidji, 70 at Duluth, and 73 at Hibbing. At Rochester, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 76. In Wisconsin, it was sunny, with a temperature of 82 at La Crosse, and 82 at Green Bay. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Eau Claire, 77 at Milwaukee, and 79 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 73. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were in the lower to mid-80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 6 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees, with a thunderstorm.
This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 6.34 p.m. Central Daylight Time. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of Central Dakota County through 6.45 p.m. At 6.20 p.m., Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Rosemount, or 16 miles north of Northfield, moving south at 10 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and half-inch hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. This storm will remain over mainly rural areas of central Dakota County, including the following locations, Coates, Vermilion, Hampton, Randolph and New Trier. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Chisago, Isanti, until 8 p.m. At 6.29 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Staunchfield, Grandy, Bodum and Cambridge Airport. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southwestern Chisago, northeastern Arloka and southeastern Isani counties through 7 p.m. At 6.32 p.m., Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Isanti, or near Cambridge, moving south at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and half-inch hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. The strong thunderstorm will be near East Bethel around 6.45 p.m. Other locations in the path of the storm include Forest Lake, Ham Lake and Stacy. This includes the following highways, Interstate 35 between mile markers 133 and 142, U.S. Highway 8, in Minnesota between mile markers 2 and 5, U.S. Highway 61 between mile markers 163 and 164. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, Isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s.
southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. A radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. This storm will remain over mainly rural areas of central Dakota County, including the following locations, Coates, Vermilion, Hampton, Randolph and New Trier. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Chisago, Isanti, until 8 p.m. At 6.29 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Staunchfield, Grandy, Bodum and Cambridge Airport. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southwestern Chisago, northeastern Anoka and southeastern Isani counties through 7 p.m. At 6.32 p.m., Doppel radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Isanti, or near Cambridge, moving south at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and half-inch hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. The strong thunderstorm will be near East Bethel around 6.45 p.m. Other locations in the path of the storm include Forest Lake, Ham Lake and Stacy. This includes the following highways, Interstate 35 between mile markers 133 and 142, U.S. Highway 8, in Minnesota between mile markers 2 and 5, U.S. Highway 61 between mile markers 163 and 164. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, Isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. 
Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 6 p.m., in the Twin Cities, a thunderstorm was reported. The visibility was 5 miles. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was east at 20 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches and rising. Around the metro, at South St. Paul, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 65. At Eden Prairie, it was mostly sunny with a temperature of 79. It was partly sunny with a temperature of 79 at Lakeville and 76 at Crystal. It was cloudy with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul and 72 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair with a temperature of 66. Around Minnesota, it was mostly sunny with a temperature of 79 at Mankato and 78 at International Falls. It was partly sunny with a temperature of 80 at St. Cloud, 82 at Brainerd, 82 at Bemidji, 70 at Duluth, and 73 at Hibbing. At Rochester, it was cloudy with a temperature of 76. In Wisconsin, it was sunny with a temperature of 82 at La Crosse and 82 at Green Bay. It was partly sunny with a temperature of 79 at Eau Claire, 77 at Milwaukee, and 79 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy with a temperature of 73. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were in the lower to mid-80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 6 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees, with a thunderstorm. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis St. Paul on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 6.52 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Chisago, Isanti, until 8 p.m. At 6.29 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Staunchfield, Grandy, Bodum, and Cambridge Airport. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. 
A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southwestern Chisago, northeastern Arloga, and southeastern Isani counties through 7 p.m. At 6.32 p.m., Doppel radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Isanti, or near Cambridge, moving south at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and half-inch hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. The strong thunderstorm will be near East Bethel around 6.45 p.m. Other locations in the path of the storm include Forest Lake, Ham Lake and Stacy. This includes the following highways, Interstate 35 between mile markers 133 and 142, U.S. Highway 8, in Minnesota between mile markers 2 and 5, U.S. Highway 61 between mile markers 163 and 164. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 6 p.m. in the Twin Cities, a thunderstorm was reported. The visibility was 5 miles. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was east at 20 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches and rising. Around the metro, 
at South St. Paul, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 65. At Eden Prairie, it was mostly sunny with a temperature of 79. It was partly sunny with a temperature of 79 at Lakeville and 76 at Crystal. It was cloudy with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul and 72 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair with a temperature of 66. Around Minnesota, it was mostly sunny with a temperature of 79 at Mankato and 78 at International Falls. It was partly sunny with a temperature of 80 at St. Cloud, 82 at Brainerd, 82 at Bemidji, 70 at Duluth, and 73 at Hibbing. At Rochester, it was cloudy with a temperature of 76. In Wisconsin, it was sunny with a temperature of 82 at La Crosse and 82 at Green Bay. It was partly sunny with a temperature of 79 at Eau Claire, 77 at Milwaukee, and 79 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy with a temperature of 73. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were in the lower to mid-80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 6 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees, with a thunderstorm. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis St. Paul on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Chisago, Isanti, until 8 p.m. At 6.29 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Staunchfield, Grandy, Bodum, and Cambridge Airport. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets, and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South. All right, yeah, turn yeah, turn around, don't drown. How about all that fun stuff? Um, a quick uh, look in uh, for a little bit. The, the storm that was south of um, uh, the Rapid City area, south of the uh, Black Hills, south of the Ulrich. Uh, looks like it's now exiting out and into Nebraska. Still no uh, severe thunderstorm warning associated with it, uh, but they are saying um, three-quarter inch hail possible and uh, 40 mile per hour winds. And, uh, yeah, as I, as I look, yeah, probably three quarter, uh, inch, uh, you, you might get an isolated inch or so in there, but, uh, and then now uh, we have had some reports of 52, 53 mile per hour wind gusts as this has rolled through as well. Uh, anything off to the North has been decreasing. Uh, we still get a little bit of gusty winds out of it, uh, as it passes through. Uh, but other than that, uh, these, uh, the only thing really left out of this, 
uh, that's a little bit stronger in nature is this stuff down way down in the south, uh, just kind of like I said, exiting into Nebraska. Uh, as we move uh, further north uh, and into uh, North Dakota, uh, we've got uh, this severe thunderstorm that's uh, made its way into Williams and Divide County. There was a 60 mile per hour wind gust in Westby, uh, that's uh, in Sheridan County, Montana, just on the uh, border here, right on the border of North Dakota and Montana. Uh, but uh, we continue to have this uh, severe thunderstorm warning out uh, for 60 mile per hour wind and quarter sized hail. Uh, this is moving southeast at about 20 miles per hour. And uh, it has been sort of uh, decreasing a little bit in intensity here over the last 30 minutes or so. Uh, but uh, still looking at uh, some strong storms moving in towards the Williston area at the very least. We're probably going to be seeing some a uh, little bit of a small hail and some pretty uh, heavy rains associated with that. Uh, flipping over to uh, the Duluth area in uh, Minneapolis, so we've had this area uh, just south of the Twin Cities has been very slowly moving off uh, to the south. It was kind of in that Inver Grove Heights area about an hour ago or so, uh, an hour and a half. And then um, now it's kind of just down to Hampton, Farmington. Uh, so really taking its time. We've got uh, some some heavy rains associated with this and, and uh, causing a little bit of flooding concerns, especially a little bit further to the north uh, with these storms a little bit further to the north uh, that really aren't moving a whole lot. Uh, this storm over Cambridge here has uh, has now been there for over an hour, hour and a half or so. Uh, between one to three inches have fallen with an additional one to two inches as possible with this. And as I put this in motion, you can see how they just kind of, it just kind of lingers there. It doesn't really move a whole lot. Uh, so quite a bit of heavy rain associated with that looks like we also had a uh, hail report uh, right around three quarter inch as well as these pass by so uh, the main threats uh, going to be the heavy rains but it looks like uh, just maybe some smaller hail also associated with this uh, and then as we go a little bit further to the north uh, we continue to have uh, flash flooding uh, as well with uh, these storms that uh, kind of the same thing just uh, aren't uh, aren't moving a whole lot just kind of moving over the same areas uh, so they're again kind of in between two to three inches have fallen with another inch or two possible and just uh, training over the same spot and again you could see a little bit of small hail associated with that we also have uh, another uh, flash flood warning up here um, in uh, lake county as well uh, some of these are kind of decreasing otherwise uh, further off to the north, so that's a good thing because uh, a lot of the stuff's been kind of the same thing, just over the same areas over and over again. But uh, still, this uh, area kind of west of Duluth, south of Duluth, and uh, in between Duluth and Minneapolis, just kind of hanging in there yet. Uh, I would think at least probably for another couple hours until that sun goes down. Uh, probably decreasing a little bit here some, but uh, still you really won't. Uh, I think really we're going to be looking at another uh, you know, probably hour or two before this really uh, begins uh, to dissipate off uh, completely. Uh, otherwise, uh, for the rest of the night, we'll take a look at um, the latest uh, model run and see what uh, is predicted for the remainder of the night. And we'll pull that up right there. All right, let's see here. So we've got this stronger cell off in the northwestern parts of uh, North Dakota. We've got uh, some showers and storms in through western and South Dakota. That's stronger stuff that's just kind of moving off to the south. And then uh, that activity in the far eastern parts of Minnesota that's going to be decaying over the next hour or two yet. Uh, but really the main thing is going to be the storms rolling through North Dakota through the overnight hours. This is right around 10 p.m. And uh, as that low continues to dive southeastward and, and begins to deepen over our area, I expect these uh, storms to basically increase across central and eastern parts of uh, North Dakota. I don't think, uh, you know, we're going to be looking at any severe, but there is the possibility that a couple of these might be strong uh, with some small hail and a little bit of gusty winds here through the overnight hours. Uh, this is right around 1 a.m. Uh, Thursday night, Friday morning, early Friday morning. Uh, two, three, and four. And uh, you can see by that point, uh, by four or 5 a.m., you know, well, we'll say after 3 a.m., uh, most of the stronger storms have kind of dissipated if there are any stronger storms out there. And then uh, once you get uh, right around that six, seven, and eight time frame, uh, we're just looking at some scattered rain and some storms uh, continuing across eastern Dakotas and into Minnesota. Now, <clears throat> 
Uh, beyond that, once we get into the afternoon hours on Thursday and we allow that temperatures to sort of warm up a little bit, we're going to be seeing an increase in activity, especially across Minnesota, but then also a few storms across eastern North Dakota as well. Uh, I think the best chance for any strong uh, to severe storms will be mainly in the southern parts of Minnesota, where you could see some small hail and maybe some stronger gusts. And so we're kind of talking the uh, Twin Cities and uh, southward. Uh, some of these up in the north end uh, could have some uh, very small hail briefly associated with them as well through the afternoon hours on Thursday. Uh, but like I said, I think the, the better chance remains in the south. And then uh, once the sun goes down, obviously the uh, storms will quickly dissipate. And then uh, once we get into the afternoon hours on Friday, uh, activity will kind of redevelop again as the warm temperatures kind of heat things up a little bit. And um, so we'll see more of those showers and storms redevelop into the afternoon hours on Friday. But we're really not expecting uh, those storms to be quite as strong on uh, as we go through uh, the day on Friday. Uh, just a more scattered in nature, not quite as heavy. And then Saturday, once we get into Saturday, uh, we're looking at just some scattered showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. And then by Sunday, most of the area is going to uh, dry out. Uh, the other thing real quick uh, to mention, just, just because it's out there and it's been talked about a little bit, uh, there is the potential uh, of seeing an aurora, the northern lights here. Uh, for uh, tonight, Wednesday night, and again, Thursday morning. And so I think the best chance of that here, uh, as we're looking at it, uh, let's see here. Uh, this is right uh, around 11 p.m. And you can see that as those storms kind of develop into central and eastern parts of North Dakota and central parts of Minnesota, uh, not real good viewing across the central and eastern parts of North Dakota and central South Dakota, central Minnesota as well. Um, and then, uh, but the looks like the West is going to clear off as we get into the night. So that's going to be good. Southern Minnesota, probably, uh, see some decent uh, viewing of the aurora as well as maybe portions of Northern Minnesota as well. As we get a little bit deeper into the night, those clouds kind of move a little bit more into Minnesota. Western Dakota is definitely clear out as we get later in the night. Um, once we get into Thursday night, however, um, as that uh, low continues to kind of spin around over, uh, the uh, Minnesota area and Eastern Dakotas, mainly, you know, expecting a lot of clouds across across the Minnesota and Eastern Dakotas. So it looks like the Western parts of the Dakotas is probably gonna be your best bet uh, for seeing any type of Aurora activity. And uh, so that's that's uh, really about it here. Um, there's uh, one last little quick look here. As you can see, those storms just continuing to move very slowly to the south and not really moving a whole lot. So again, the main threat's just going to be, uh, continue to be the, any type of flooding uh, that's associated with that. And then we've got uh, this uh, severe storm um, up into uh, Williams and Divide County in northwestern parts of uh, North Dakota. So. Uh, that's basically the main areas we're focused in on, and um, that's really all I've got for you. As always, if you've got any questions, feel free to, to uh, ask on the chat, and I will continue to monitor, and uh, we'll check in then. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye. 68 at South St. Paul and 73 at Lakeville. At Lake Elmo, it was fair with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, at International Falls, thunder was reported with a temperature of 74. It was mostly sunny with a temperature of 70 at Rochester and 77 at Mankato. It was partly sunny with a temperature of 80 at Brainerd, 79 at Bemidji, 69 at Duluth, and 69 at Hibbing. In Wisconsin, it was clear with a temperature of 79 at La Crosse and 78 at Green Bay. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 77 at Eau Claire, 74 at Milwaukee, and 78 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 7 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 73 degrees under partly sunny skies. At 7 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy. It was 73 degrees. The dew point was 65. The relative humidity was 75%. The wind was south at 13 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.07 inches and falling.
around the metro, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Eden Prairie and 73 at Blaine. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, and 77 at Crystal. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, at International Falls, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 74. At Mankato, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 77. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 70 at Rochester, 80 at Brainerd, 69 at Duluth, and 69 at Hibbing. At Bemidji, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 79. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was clear, with a temperature of 78. At La Crosse, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 79. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 77 at Eau Claire, 74 at Milwaukee, and 78 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 7 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 73 degrees, under cloudy skies. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul, on a frequency of 162.550 MHz, serving listeners throughout much of east-central Minnesota and west-central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota and transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Chisago, Isanti, until 8 p.m. At 6.29 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Staunchfield, Grandy, Bodum, and Cambridge Airport. Turn around. So that's an interesting little feature uh, there uh, in Williston, as you can see above me there. Uh, a little wall cloud uh, that's uh, developed out ahead of this uh, storm. Uh, hard to tell as we take a look at that. If it's, uh, yeah, if it's even attached at this point, uh, it looks look like looks like it's uh, dissipating rapidly. It was looking a lot more interesting just a few minutes ago um, as we were taking a look at that. So. Not uh, not looking near as interesting, but man, it was uh, it was even looking like there might have been a little bit of rotation showing up in that. Uh, but boy, that's that's uh, dissipating here quickly. So as soon as I as soon as I come back on here live, uh, it seems like it's <laughs> it's uh, on on the decrease here. A little bit of rotation is showing up uh, with that storm. Of course, this uh, this one is is quite a ways out there. There's there's it's right in between the Minot in Glasgow radio uh, radar we were taking a look at the Minot radar and um, uh, yeah so we'll take a look at the Glasgow Montana one uh, yeah just a little bit of rotation showing up in there and uh, again as we're just taking a look at the video up above yeah that's that's decreasing rapidly so uh, but there continues to be a uh, severe thunderstorm warning out uh, for Williston and I believe that is uh, not divide uh, Williams County um, <clears throat> for 60 mile per hour wind and quarter size hail as that storm continues to move off to the southeast at about 30 miles per hour. So uh, radar, this is a uh, radar indicated uh, with these uh, with this particular storm in northwestern parts of Minnesota or North Dakota rather. But uh, I just kind of want to jump on because I was looking real interesting there in Wilson and just uh, as soon as I came on, boy, it uh, it it dissipated it dissipated rapidly. So. Um, I guess that's what I got to do if I never need to, um, 
make sure severe weather doesn't strike. I'll just come on live. <laughs> All right. Uh, just uh, figured I'd jump in there. I figured everybody else is probably seeing it and uh, wondering what was going on. But uh, just like that, it's, uh, it, uh, it kind of lost, uh, lost its interest here a little bit, uh, still probably expecting some hail, uh, small hail associated with this. Uh, so just uh, make sure you're still taking cover as the storm approaches. All right. Uh, that's all I got for now. We'll check, ba check back in after a bit. Thanks guys. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 7 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy. It was 73 degrees. The dew point was 65. The relative humidity was 75%. The wind was south at 13 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.07 inches and in falling. Around the metro, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Eden Prairie and 73 at Blaine. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, and 77 at Crystal. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, at International Falls, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 74. At Mankato, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 77. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 70 at Rochester, 80 at Brainerd, 69 at Duluth, and 69 at Hibbing. At Bemidji, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 79. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was clear, with a temperature of 78. At La Crosse, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 79. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 77 at Eau Claire, 74 at Milwaukee, and 78 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 7 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 73 degrees, under cloudy skies. The Twin Cities, Minnesota Climate Summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 7.22 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, Chisago, Isanti, until 8 p.m. At 6.29 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the area. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include 
Cambridge, Staunchfield, Grandy, Bodum, and Cambridge Airport. Turn around. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west-central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 7 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy. It was 73 degrees. The dew point was 65. The relative humidity was 75%. The wind was south at 13 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.07 inches in falling. Around the metro, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Eden Prairie and 73 at Blaine. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, and 77 at Crystal. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, at International Falls, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 74. At Mankato, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 77. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 70 at Rochester, 80 at Brainerd, 69 at Duluth, and 69 at Hibbing. At Bemidji, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 79. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was clear, with a temperature of 78. At La Crosse, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 79. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 77 at Eau Claire, 74 at Milwaukee, and 78 at Madison. 
At New Richmond, it was cloudy with a temperature of 70. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 7 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 73 degrees, under cloudy skies. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis St. Paul on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 7.29 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Arnoka and southern I Santee, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern I Santee County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, Isanti, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. The Twin Cities, Minnesota Climate Summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, Isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. 
Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 7 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy. It was 73 degrees. The dew point was 65. The relative humidity was 75%. The wind was south at 13 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.07 inches and in falling. Around the metro, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Eden Prairie and 73 at Blaine. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, and 77 at Crystal. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, at International Falls, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 74. At Mankato, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 77. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 70 at Rochester, 80 at Brainerd, 69 at Duluth, and 69 at Hibbing. At Bemidji, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 79. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was clear, with a temperature of 78. At La Crosse, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 79. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 77 at Eau Claire, 74 at Milwaukee, and 78 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 7 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 73 degrees, under cloudy skies. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of east-central Minnesota and west-central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota, and transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 7.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Onoka and southern i Santi, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern I. Santee County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, I. Santee, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. 
south winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. The Twin Cities Minnesota climate summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. At 7 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy, it was 73 degrees. The dew point was 65. The relative humidity was 75%. The wind was south at 13 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.07 inches in falling. Around the metro, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Eden Prairie and 73 at Blaine. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, and 77 at Crystal. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, at International Falls, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 74. At Mankato, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 77. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 70 at Rochester, 80 at Brainerd, 69 at Duluth, and 69 at Hibbing. At Bemidji, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 79. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was clear, with a temperature of 78. At La Crosse, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 79. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 77 at Eau Claire, 74 at Milwaukee, and 78 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 7 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 73 degrees, 
under cloudy skies. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 7.43 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Arnoka and southern I Santi, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern I Santi County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, Isanti, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement. Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday. Mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Day. Showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 7 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy. It was 73 degrees. The dew point was 65. The relative humidity was 75%. The wind was south at 13 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.07 inches and in falling. Around the metro, 
It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Eden Prairie and 73 at Blaine. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, and 77 at Crystal. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, at International Falls, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 74. At Mankato, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 77. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 70 at Rochester, 80 at Brainerd, 69 at Duluth, and 69 at Hibbing. At Bemidji, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 79. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was clear, with a temperature of 78. At La Crosse, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 79. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 77 at Eau Claire, 74 at Milwaukee, and 78 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 7 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 73 degrees, under cloudy skies. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul, on a frequency of 162.550 MHz, serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota and transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The Twin Cities, Minnesota Climate Summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. The current time is 7.51 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Arnolka and southern i Santi, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern i Santi County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, Isanti, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night,
showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 7 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy. It was 73 degrees. The dew point was 65. The relative humidity was 75%. The wind was south at 13 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.07 inches and falling. Around the metro, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 79 at Eden Prairie and 73 at Blaine. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, and 77 at Crystal. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, at International Falls, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 74. At Mankato, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 77. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 70 at Rochester, 80 at Brainerd, 69 at Duluth, and 69 at Hibbing. At Bemidji, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 79. In Wisconsin, at Green Bay, it was clear, with a temperature of 78. At La Crosse, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 79. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 77 at Eau Claire, 74 at Milwaukee, and 78 at Madison. At New Richmond, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and the temperatures were in the lower 80s. In Iowa, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny, and temperatures were around 80 degrees. Once again at 7 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 73 degrees, under cloudy skies. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 7.57 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Arnoka and southern I Santee, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern I Santee County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. 
Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, Isanti, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. The Twin Cities Minnesota climate summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976 and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 megahertz. Serving listeners throughout much of east central Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota, and transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 8.02 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. 
Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Arnolka and southern I. Santi, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern I. Santi County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, I. Santi, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 8 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy, it was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was south at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.05 inches and falling. Around the metro, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 73 at Lakeville and 78 at Eden Prairie. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 69 at South St. Paul, 75 at Crystal, and 73 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 74 at Mankato, and 77 at Brainerd. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at Rochester, 73 at St. Cloud, 65 at Duluth, 66 at Hibbing, and 71 at International Falls. At Bemidji, 
it was cloudy with a temperature of 77. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling with a temperature of 68. At Green Bay, it was clear with a temperature of 70. It was partly cloudy with a temperature of 74 at La Crosse and 70 at Madison. It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 75 at Eau Claire and 70 at Milwaukee. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 79 at Fargo, 76 at Watertown, 80 at Huron, and 78 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 76 at Sioux City, 73 at Mason City, and 78 at Des Moines. Once again at 8 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees under cloudy skies. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis St. Paul, on a frequency of 162.550 MHz, serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota, and transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 8.09 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Arnoka and southern I Santi, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern I Santi County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, I Santi, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. The Twin Cities, Minnesota climate summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis St. Paul, on a frequency of 162.550 MHz, serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota and transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 8.12 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Arnoka and southern I Santi, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern I Santi County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, 
Isanti, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook in Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 8 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was south at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.05 inches and falling. Around the metro, at Eden Prairie, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 78. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 69 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, 75 at Crystal, and 73 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, skies ranged from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. It was 69 at Mark, 74 at Mankato, 73 at St. Cloud, and 77 at Brainerd. Bemidji reported 77, Duluth reported 65, Hibbing reported 66, and International Falls reported 71. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling, with a temperature of 68. At Green Bay, it was clear, with a temperature of 70. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 74 at La Crosse, and 70 at Madison. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 75 at Eau Claire, and 70 at Milwaukee. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 79 at Fargo, 76 at Watertown, 80 at Huron, and 78 at Sioux Falls. 
In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 76 at Sioux City, 73 at Mason City, and 78 at Des Moines. Once again at 8 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees under cloudy skies. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 8.18 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Arnoka and southern I-90, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern I Santa County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, I Santee, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. The Twin Cities, Minnesota climate summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60.
Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 8 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was south at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.05 inches and falling. Around the metro, at Eden Prairie, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 78. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 69 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, 75 at Crystal, and 73 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, skies ranged from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. It was 69 at Rochester, 74 at Mankato, 73 at St. Cloud, and 77 at Brainerd. Bemidji reported 77, Duluth reported 65, Hibbing reported 66, and International Falls reported 71. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling with a temperature of 68. At Green Bay, it was clear with a temperature of 70. It was partly cloudy with a temperature of 74 at La Crosse and 70 at Madison. It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 75 at Eau Claire and 70 at Milwaukee. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 79 at Fargo, 76 at Watertown, 80 at Huron, and 78 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 76 at Sioux City, 73 at Mason City, and 78 at Des Moines. Once again at 8 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees under cloudy skies. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis St. Paul on a frequency of 162.550 megahertz serving listeners throughout much of east central Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service forecast office in Chanhassen, Minnesota and transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 8.26 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Onoka and southern i Santi, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern i Santi County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, Isanti, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. 
Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. The Twin Cities Minnesota Climate Summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. At 8 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy, it was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was south at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.05 inches and falling. Around the metro, at Eden Prairie, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 78. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 69 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, 75 at Crystal, and 73 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, skies ranged from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. It was 69 at Rochester, 74 at Mankato, 73 at St. Cloud, and 77 at Brainerd. Bemidji reported 77, Duluth reported 65, Hibbing reported 66, and International Falls reported 71. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling with a temperature of 68. At Green Bay, it was clear, with a temperature of 70. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 74 at La Crosse, and 70 at Madison. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 75 at Eau Claire, and 70 at Milwaukee. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 79 at Fargo, 76 at Watertown, 80 at Huron, and 78 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 76 at Sioux City, 73 at Mason City, and 78 at Des Moines. Once again at 8 p.m., in the Twin Cities, 
It was 72 degrees under cloudy skies. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 megahertz. Serving listeners throughout much of east central Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 8.33 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Arnoka and southern I Santi, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern I Santi County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, I Santi, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 8 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was south at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.05 inches and falling. Around the metro, at Eden Prairie, 
It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 78. It was cloudy with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 69 at South St. Paul, 73 at Lakeville, 75 at Crystal, and 73 at Blaine. At Lake Elmo, it was fair with a temperature of 68. Around Minnesota, skies ranged from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. It was 69 at Rochester, 74 at Mankato, 73 at St. Cloud, and 77 at Brainerd. Bemidji reported 77, Duluth reported 65, Hibbing reported 66, and International Falls reported 71. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling with a temperature of 68. At Green Bay, it was clear with a temperature of 70. It was partly cloudy with a temperature of 74 at La Crosse and 70 at Madison. It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 75 at Eau Claire and 70 at Milwaukee. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 79 at Fargo, 76 at Watertown, 80 at Huron, and 78 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 76 at Sioux City, 73 at Mason City, and 78 at Des Moines. Once again at 8 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees, under cloudy skies. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul, on a frequency of 162.550 MHz, serving listeners throughout much of east-central Minnesota and west-central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota and transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The Twin Cities, Minnesota Climate Summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. The current time is 8.40 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Onoka and southern i Santi, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern i Santi County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, Isanti, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. 
Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. No, I don't, Tracy XD. I don't know if I should or not. I have a horrible memory, so if you've been on before, uh, I'm sorry. But unfortunately, no, I don't recall. <laughs> Then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 8 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was cloudy. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 73%. The wind was south at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.05 inches and falling. Around the metro, at Eden Prairie, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 78. It was cloudy, with a temperature of... Boy, 5 inches of rain in Cambridge... Minnesota, just north of the cities. Uh, they did have uh, a lot of rain that just hung out there for quite a while today. So five inches of rain causing flooding concerns around the Cambridge, uh, the town of Cambridge, essentially. Um, I saw another report up here earlier. There it is, an inch and a three-quarter. Um, in Cloquet, just north, uh, southwest of Duluth. Uh, we had multiple flood warnings out kind of west of Duluth and in between uh, the Twin Cities and Duluth area. Area um, Now a lot of these have been kind of dissipating here in intensity. We just got some light to moderate rains, but still, uh, they've, there's some areas in between here that uh, have gotten quite a bit of rain here this afternoon, and that really became uh, much of the concern <clears throat> now we do have some heavier storms running through the northern metro at this point. And so that's why we've got the Twin Cities cams sitting down there on the bottom left just to watch that storm essentially roll through. We continue to have some stronger storms out in the western part of North Dakota around that Wadford City area uh, where we're just looking at maybe some hail. Uh, up to three-quarter inch or so. Uh, a lot of the uh, stronger stuff has since dissipated. Uh, looked like we had three-quarter inch or so right around uh, Williston earlier tonight. <clears throat> uh, then we also have uh, some stronger storms that uh, ran through kind of Bismarck. They had three-quarter inch uh, in Mandan the way it looked. Uh, let's see, Crown Butte Lake in Morton County. Uh, now we've got uh, some heavier rains, uh, some small hail possible. Uh, maybe a little bit gustier winds uh, running through the uh, Mackenzie Sterling Steel Dawson area and then coming up to Pettibone and eventually Tappan and Medina and probably working its way south into Braddock, Hazleton, Napoleon as well. So 
but uh, some needed rains, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll take it. There's no, uh, it doesn't appear to be any any large hail or anything like that. Uh, so just uh, maybe some not much needed rain heading through south central parts of North Dakota at this time as well. Uh, we're expecting at least uh, the models were showing an uptick in activity through the overnight hours uh, through the central and then eventually into the eastern parts of the state <clears throat> of, of North Dakota and then uh, maybe some stuff into central Minnesota as well uh, so again just a I think the uh, the severe threat uh, now that we're kind of getting to that nine o'clock time frame, uh, sun is pretty much set, uh, especially out in the eastern part of the Dakotas, and in through Minnesota. So uh, the severe threat is definitely diminishing here, and I would expect uh, out in the western part of the state there we're probably uh, pretty much down out there for any severe weather as well. So uh, we'll keep the uh, we'll keep the um, the radar running for just a bit longer. <clears throat> and uh, as we get just a little bit a uh, little bit later into the night here and then eventually I will have to sign off and probably do just a quick uh, weather video uh, that I'll up upload uh, later tonight and uh, just kind of give you a basic heads up uh, on any any type of changes to the forecast that I had earlier it'll be a much quicker forecast tonight so um, once I'll sign off I will put that out and uh, you can tune in and make sure you subscribe uh, so you know when that video is issued, so you can just take a look and know what the forecast is for the Dakotas and Minnesota, um, is that's uh, that's exclusively the area I watch, is just the, the Dakotas and Minnesota here at Region Weather Live. Uh, I am a meteorologist. I have my degree, long-time degree, and uh, so I've just kind of found, uh, kind of need to get, uh, get back uh, into it a little bit in some uh, fashion here and uh, serve the YouTube community in across the Dakotas of Minnesota. So welcome. Appreciate you out there. If you haven't done so, hit the like button. Uh, if you appreciate uh, having this up there, uh, I am all on more steady uh, when there is uh, a more much more active weather, when there's severe weather, um, widespread. And then um, <clears throat> expect to be on uh, through the winter as well uh, as we deal with that kind of garbage <laughs> as we're talking about the uh, the possibility of winter storms and blizzards and all that fun ugly stuff uh that's uh, going to be coming in the uh, next few months so uh thanks for having you thanks for having thanks for thanks for being here that's what i meant to say yeah uh yeah there's plenty i'm sure there's plenty of lightning rolling through uh that stuff in through hennepin county <clears throat> Sorry, Tracy, if I don't, I just, like I said, I've, I've got a horrible memory, so, um, but it looks like, yeah, it just, it's going to be mostly just some heavy rains. There might be some very, uh, you know, some small hail briefly embedded in some of this, especially maybe just north of Coon Rapids, probably the best, uh, yeah, best chance between Anoka and Coon Rapids is probably the best area for just some, maybe some smaller, uh, brief hail and then, um, Maybe some 40 mile per hour wind gusts associated with this, but uh, all in all, we're just looking at uh, just some heavy rains running through the metro area. So hopefully you want it. I know you guys continue to be sort of dry down there. Um, so yeah, here's here's going to be some much needed rain for the uh, Twin Cities area. crazy heavy rain um yeah i'm sure i'm sure there's some strong heavy heavy rains running through uh, as always um you know if you've got any pictures or videos uh feel free to send them to me at region wx 
Uh, that's my Twitter handle. Uh, if you have the if you have the tweet machine, uh, feel free to uh, shoot me something there. If if you've got a if you've got some interesting video, I'd be happy to share it with everybody else. But yeah, I bet I bet you got some strong heavy rains coming on. Looks like uh, if, looks like some decent lightning showing up on the cam there. It's like the uh, strongest stuff kind of running through Anoka. Uh, uh, boy, if I could talk. Brooklyn Park, Anoka, Rogers, Albertville, Ostego at this point. Kind of northwestern metro. It's probably got the strongest stuff at the, at the way it's looking on the radar. But still heading kind of southeast. Uh, so uh, the entire metro is not completely out of it, obviously. So... At the very least, you're going to be seeing some light rain, but uh, probably some heavy rains across uh, much of the metro. Creating on the fly here, that's always fun to do. So this is a uh, DOT cam. Uh, let's see, hold on one second. Uh, kind of uh, in between Brooklyn Park and Anoka. It is, uh, I believe it's 610 at uh, 169. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're going to be uh, relying on this stuff uh, if you're hoping for rain. That, uh, that I yeah wouldn't uh, wouldn't wouldn't count on that no not the <laughs> not the stuff in Minnesota although what uh, what part of Texas because uh, running through. Central and east central parts of Texas. I'm just taking a look quick. Uh, looks like looks like a decent chance of rain running through there tomorrow. Mm. 
northeast. Yeah, not so much in the northeast, unfortunately. There's a few... There might be some scattered stuff overnight in the early part of... Uh, uh, early part of the morning tomorrow morning so it just depends where exactly you are in the northeast there, is, there might be some scattered stuff in the morning but uh yeah fortunately it looks like the uh real or more organized activity will be south but uh welcome thanks for watching This guy, is he just hanging out under the underpass? Almost looks like it. Oh, okay, Dallas, kind of Dallas, Fort Worth, gotcha. Yeah, you've got a chance of rain in the morning down in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. Uh, kind of late in the morning, uh, maybe into the early afternoon, but yeah, probably not as good a chance as you want. Again, that's just a, that's just a real quick look on my end. Come on, video. Let's play. Uh, Itasca County, uh, to be exact, uh, north. Uh, yeah, uh, next couple of days. Well, that's pretty good lightning there. Um, I'll just show you a quick here, and we'll zoom in to uh, our region that we're concerned about. So, uh, not a, a whole lot to Fry Itasca County. Maybe, maybe a, an isolated storm or two or shower uh, through the overnight hour. Um, but then, uh, kind of as things begin to warm up. Uh, through the late morning and into the afternoon. It looks like the chance of some scattered activity uh, begins to increase uh, across Itasca. <clears throat> um, trying to remember. And, uh, you know, pretty much everything within this region, uh, we're looking at uh, at least the possibility of some scattered uh, showers and storms late morning into the early afternoon hours. Uh Probably the main thing is going to be a uh, possibility of some brief heavy rains associated with that. You might get uh, got the possibility of just maybe some small hail occasionally with uh, a storm or two uh, with that up 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 in the northern part of Minnesota. Uh, and then as we get into the evening hours uh, tomorrow, uh, that's going to quickly dissipate and just maybe be left with some showers and some rain. Uh, the southern part of Minnesota probably has got the best chance for the heavy rain and for the uh, strong storms and maybe even a, a severe storm or two. Uh, with some hail and some gustier winds as uh, some of this stuff kind of gets organized uh, later in the afternoon after probably about four or five o'clock and begins to push south and eastward uh, through the evening hours. Uh, but once again, kind of after nine or 10 o'clock, once we lose that heating, uh, most of that uh, activity will dissipate and you're just going to be left with some scattered rain, maybe a few claps of thunder here and there through the overnight hours Thursday night. You can really see that uh, that low pressure system. Let's see if this works. Nope. Um, continue to pinwheel around uh, this. We've got this deep low pressure uh, that just kind of sits over over the region for a couple of days, 
And then, uh, so we're going to be dealing with at least some scattered showers uh, across the southern part of uh, Minnesota, possibly in you know, eastern South Dakota Friday morning. And then once again, once the daytime heating kind of gets going Friday afternoon, expecting more uh, thunderstorms to develop, scattered activity across uh, much of Minnesota and uh, possibly into the eastern uh, Dakotas as well. Uh, not as good a chance uh, for any strong to severe weather, probably Friday. Uh, mostly just, again, dealing with uh, probably some heavier rains in some areas. And if it lines up right, uh, the way some of this is looking, you know, you've got the potential maybe once again for some localized flooding. Uh, if you get some of these storms just kind of lining up over each other uh, bit after bit. So that might be probably a little bit more of a concern for Friday more than anything. And then on Saturday, uh, just some scattered showers, maybe a few thunderstorms in, in Minnesota. Uh, and then that's about it. And then by Sunday, Sunday's looking pretty good. Maybe some isolated showers yet Sunday, but uh, Sunday's looking a lot better after that. So our temperatures for our highs um, for tomorrow uh, actually might come a little bit earlier in the day, especially, or well, I should say, especially for those into southern parts of Minnesota where we're looking at 80, maybe right before noon. And then as these storms kind of develop, uh, might actually begin to cool things off a little bit earlier in the afternoon uh, once these storms develop. Uh, but otherwise, we're looking at 70s in the north, uh, 80s across the southern portion of our uh, area. Um, and then once we get into Friday, it's going to be kind of cooler all around, uh, generally just 70s um, across the pretty much the whole area, the Dakotas and Minnesota. Uh, uh, Saturday gets a little bit warmer with some 80s in the western parts of far western South Dakota. And then uh, Sunday, a little bit more 80s across western Dakotas and 70s out in the east. So uh, that's uh, kind of what we're looking for over the next couple of days. The one thing, uh, even though it's going to be maybe just a little bit uh, you know, into the 70s, uh, those 60 degree dew points do hang around into Minnesota. Uh, so even though we're going to be having, you know, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, we're going to still be having dew points right around 60. Uh, so it might still feel a little, uh, might feel uh, a little sticky out there still, uh, just with those uh, higher dew points uh, hanging around. Uh, it does look like as this wraps, uh, gets wrapped up and get, gets uh, trying to move out of here a little bit, uh, maybe Friday afternoon we might have a little bit, uh, let's see, maybe some stronger northwesterly winds, north-northwesterly winds, uh, 20 to 30 miles per hour across portions of the Dakotas, it looks like on Friday. Um, but then uh, I think Saturday, you know, again, as this system continues to pull off, uh, the winds uh, won't be as bad, but uh, we're still going to be having some 60-degree dew points uh, throughout the weekend. back to the summer here um this is our current temperatures across minnesota we got uh generally 70s well pretty much north to south some 60s up in the northeastern part of minnesota pretty typical always a little bit cooler up there uh given the uh, north shore given the lake breeze off there uh, otherwise uh, north dakota's right now uh generally in the low to mid 70s uh, still a couple of 80s down into south dakota but otherwise most of south dakota's in the 80s as well dew points right now uh, 50s, low to mid 50s in the west to still have uh, low to mid 60s uh, across Minnesota for uh, dew points at this point, uh, at this hour. <clears throat> It does look like they dropped the uh, special weather statement for Bismarck for that area right around Steele. Um, so it looks like that's uh, decreasing a little bit. Uh, we still got maybe some, a little bit of hail left uh, in the northwestern parts of Minnesota, or North Dakota rather, with three quarter inch hail and 55 mile per hour winds uh, possibly associated with that. Uh, and that's, that's, that's looking about... Uh, That's uh, that's looking about the most interesting stuff at this point. Um, so yeah, not uh, not a whole lot going on.
Uh, there's really nothing in Cambridge. The radar that I'm using for Minneapolis, or it says Minneapolis radar, that is the Cambridge radar. Um, there's, there's, you're good for Cambridge. There's nothing. Yeah, you've got all your rain. You got your five inches of rain in Cambridge. Uh, at this point, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think you're going to get anything more in Cambridge. It's just this heavier stuff running through the Twin Cities now. Yep, I am still watching. Thanks for asking. Showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. The Twin Cities, Minnesota climate summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. At 9 p.m., in the Twin Cities, light rain was falling. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 64. The relative humidity was 76%. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.06 inches and rising. Around the metro, at Crystal, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 71. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 75 at Eden Prairie, and 68 at Lake Elmo. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, and 72 at Lakeville. Around Minnesota, at International Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66 at Rochester, 71 at Mankato, and 69 at St. Cloud. Under mostly cloudy skies, Brainerd reported 73, Bemidji reported 73, and Duluth reported 63. At Hibbing, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling, with a temperature of 68. At Green Bay, it was clear, with a temperature of 64. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 71 at La Crosse, 68 at Milwaukee, and 66 at Madison. At Eau Claire, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 71. 
Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 75 at Fargo, 71 at Watertown, 77 at Huron, and 76 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 72 at Sioux City, 66 at Mason City, and 76 at Des Moines. Once again at 9 p.m., in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees, with light rain. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 9.14 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Urban and small stream flooding expected. Thunderstorms with heavy rain will cause minor flooding in the following counties, northern Arnoka and southern I Santi, until 9.15 p.m. At 7.22 p.m., Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall over southern I Santi County. Rainfall rates of near 2 inches per hour will cause urban and small stream flooding. Overflow of water will result in minor flooding of poor drainage locations in the area. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Cambridge, Ham Lake, East Bethel, St. Francis, Isanti, Oak Grove, Athens, Spencer Brook and Bethel. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. 
south winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 9 p.m. in the Twin Cities, light rain was falling. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 64. The relative humidity was 76%. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.06 inches and rising. Around the metro, at Crystal, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 71. At Lane, rain was falling, with a temperature of 70. At Lake Elmo, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 72 at Lakeville, and 75 at Eden Prairie. Around Minnesota, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Cloud, 63 at Duluth, and 66 at International Falls. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66 at Rochester, 71 at Mankato, 73 at Brainerd, and 73 at Bemidji. At Hibbing, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling, with a temperature of 68. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 71 at La Crosse, 68 at Milwaukee, 66 at Madison, and 64 at Green Bay. At Eau Claire, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 71. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 75 at Fargo, 71 at Watertown, 77 at Huron, and 76 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 72 at Sioux City, 66 at Mason City, and 76 at Des Moines. Once again at 9 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees with light rain. The Twin Cities, Minnesota Climate Summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 9.21 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. 
Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 9 p.m. in the Twin Cities, light rain was falling. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 64. The relative humidity was 76%. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.06 inches and rising. Around the metro, at Crystal, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 71. At Lane, rain was falling with a temperature of 70. At Lake Elmo, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 68. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 72 at Lakeville, and 75 at Eden Prairie. Around Minnesota, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Cloud, 63 at Duluth, and 66 at International Falls. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66 at Rochester, 71 at Mankato, 73 at Brainerd, and 73 at Bemidji. At Hibbing, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling, with a temperature of 68. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 71 at La Crosse, 68 at Milwaukee, 66 at Madison, and 64 at Green Bay. At Eau Claire, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 71. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 75 at Fargo, 71 at Watertown, 77 at Huron, and 76 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 72 at Sioux City, 66 at Mason City, and 76 at Des Moines. Once again at 9 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees with light rain. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul, on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 9.27 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement. Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. 
Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. The Twin Cities, Minnesota climate summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. At 9 p.m., in the Twin Cities, light rain was falling, it was 72 degrees. The dew point was 64. The relative humidity was 76%. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.06 inches and rising. Around the metro, at Crystal, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 71. At Lane, rain was falling, with a temperature of 70. At Lake Elmo, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 72 at Lakeville, and 75 at Eden Prairie. Around Minnesota, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Cloud, 63 at Duluth, and 66 at International Falls. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66 at Rochester, 71 at Mankato, 73 at Brainerd, and 73 at Bemidji. At Hibbing, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling, with a temperature of 68. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 71 at La Crosse, 68 at Milwaukee, 66 at Madison, and 64 at Green Bay. At Eau Claire, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 71. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 75 at Fargo, 
71 at Watertown, 77 at Huron, and 76 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 72 at Sioux City, 66 at Mason City, and 76 at Des Moines. Once again at 9 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees with light rain. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 megahertz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 9.34 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening and again Thursday morning. No severe weather is expected. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday. Mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 9 p.m. in the Twin Cities, light rain was falling. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 64. The relative humidity was 76%. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.06 inches and rising. Around the metro, at Crystal, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 71. At Lane, rain was falling with a temperature of 70. At Lake Elmo, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 68. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 72 at Lakeville, and 75 at Eden Prairie. Around Minnesota, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Cloud, 63 at Duluth, 
N66 at International Falls. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66 at Rochester, 71 at Mankato, 73 at Brainerd, and 73 at Bemidji. At Hibbing, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling, with a temperature of... So for uh, Osseo for tomorrow, uh, probably going to see some increasing uh, storms through the late morning and uh, through the afternoon hours on Thursday. Yep, uh, some of them could be strong, maybe an isolated severe uh, with one inch hail and 60 mile per hour winds uh, running through uh, that area. Again, kind of maybe late morning, probably more so in the afternoon hours. Uh, as this uh, stuff kind of continues to develop and push down to the south and east. Um, again, uh, some additional activity probably down in the southwestern parts of Minnesota that could also be strong to severe with one inch hail and 60 mile per hour winds. And then uh, kind of once the sun goes down right around 9 p.m. or so, most of those strong storms uh, will begin to dissipate and we'll just see some scattered rain and uh, a few claps of thunder through the overnight hours. As you get into Friday, uh, again, once the late morning kind of occurs and uh, the temperatures begin to warm up, probably see a little bit of an increase in rain and some thunder uh, on Friday. But uh, not looking like the uh, chance of strong to severe weather is there uh, for that Osseo in the uh, southern parts of Minnesota. Uh, so mainly we're just looking at um, some scattered showers and storms, probably some areas with some heavier rains. Uh, but that's about it. And then uh, once we get into Saturday, just some scattered rain, maybe maybe a few uh, thunderstorms here and there. Um, but then uh, that's about it. Saturday's not looking uh, too threatening at all. So that's kind of the forecast for that Osseo, Twin Cities, southern parts of Minnesota. of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98 which occurred in 1976 and the record low is 41 which occurred in 1977. So we're kind of getting to that point of the night um, where we're going to have to uh, let the live stream go. Uh, kind of 10 o'clock is probably when I'll drop it out because I'm going to have to, uh, I'll try to make a quick video update and get that out. It's going to be pretty short tonight, <clears throat> uh, the way it's looking at this point. Um, I just kind of give it a little bit of an update. Uh, pretty much what you just heard a little bit ago is, is pretty much all I have to say, I guess. Um, but I'll just issue that uh, video out there so that people can uh, be sure to find what the latest forecast is. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button so that you know when any type of videos are uploaded, uh, forecast videos for the Dakotas of Minnesota. And also so you know when I'm on here watching the weather um, as things happen. I'll try to get the uh, radar uh, looping again later tomorrow afternoon just to get things rolling. And especially with maybe the possibility of some stronger storms out in the southern parts of Minnesota tomorrow. Uh, so you can make sure to tune in uh, for that live feed as well. Again, hit the subscribe button so you know when I'm on live. Uh, and then uh, also, if you haven't done so, hit the like button. That also helps my channel get discovered by other people looking for weather information across the Dakotas and Minnesota. So that would help me out quite a bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to let this go here for about uh, till about 10 o'clock, top of the hour here. And then I will drop the live stream so that I can get a quick uh, little forecast video out. And then uh, maybe we'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Thanks, guys. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. 
Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 9 p.m., in the Twin Cities, light rain was falling. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 64. The relative humidity was 76%. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.06 inches and rising. Around the metro, at Crystal, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 71. At Lane, rain was falling with a temperature of 70. At Lake Elmo, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 68. It was cloudy with a temperature of 69. Uh, real quick, looks like uh, this uh, storm that kind of uh, was below severe limits, really nothing going on, and then uh, as it's kind of continuing to move south, um, <clears throat> uh, looks like we've got a, a severe thunderstorm warn now for uh, the Napoleon Streeter area. Um, so we've got, uh, let's see, a 60 mile per hour wind and quarter size hail associated with this. And this is moving southeast at about 30 miles per hour. So for Logan, uh, Kinder, uh, uh, Emmons, and Stutzman counties is where uh, these, uh, this particular uh, warning is for. Uh, the main uh, area of concern right now looks like it's just kind of north of Kintyre, northwest of Napoleon, moving uh, again southeast at about 30 miles per hour. Uh, so uh, looking like uh, maybe some hail running across the northern uh, Napoleon, so Wanda, if you're listening, looks like you might have some uh, one-inch hail coming your direction. Uh, maybe uh, looks like some stronger winds as well, probably some 60-mile-per-hour winds running across uh, northern parts of Napoleon and uh, heading towards that Burnstead and uh, uh, Beaver Lake State Park eventually area. Uh, and then uh, possibly eventually making it down to the uh, Wishick and Lair area as well. But uh, this is kind of the area we're watching out uh, for the one in Chale is probably going to be the main threat. Um, actually, it looks like a very, you know, a very likelihood of probably seeing some 60 mile per hour winds in there as well. So uh, some s strong driving winds uh, coming in with these storms. Uh, just kind of rolling, uh, yeah, just north of Napoleon, possibly affecting Napoleon. Uh, is This is kind of the main area that uh, bears a little bit of watching here. Uh, again, that's uh, Logan County mainly that that's entering into. Uh, northwestern Logan County kind of heading southeast uh, across that county uh, here through the overnight, moving southeast at about 30 miles per hour. Now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid 60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. 
Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 9 p.m., in the Twin Cities, light rain was falling, it was 72 degrees. The dew point was 64. The relative humidity was 76%. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour, the pressure was 30.06 inches and rising. Around the metro, at Crystal, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 71. At Lane, rain was falling, with a temperature of 70. At Lake Elmo, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 60. It was cloudy. At South St. Paul, 72. Around Minnesota, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Cloud, 63 at Duluth, and 66 at International Falls. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66 at Rochester, 71 at Mankato, 73 at Brainerd, and 73 at Bemidji. At Hibbing, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling, with a temperature of 68. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 71 at La Crosse, 68 at Milwaukee, 66 at Madison, and 64 at Green Bay. At Eau Claire, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 71. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 75 at Fargo, 71 at Watertown, 77 at Huron, and 76 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 72 at Sioux City, 66 at Mason City, and 76 at Des Moines. Once again at 9 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees with light rain. The Twin Cities, Minnesota climate summary for this evening, as of 7 p.m., August 17, 2022. Today's high temperature of 83 degrees occurred at 3.34 p.m. Today's low temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 4.05 a.m. 0.07 inches of precipitation fell today. No snow fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 63. The record high for tomorrow is 98, which occurred in 1976, and the record low is 41, which occurred in 1977. Sunset tonight is at 8.16 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.19 a.m. This is weather radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis, St. Paul. On a frequency of 162.550 megahertz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota and transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 9.52 p.m. Central Daylight Time.
Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west-central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening. No severe weather is expected, but heavy downpours could lead to localized flooding. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. On and off thunderstorms are expected again Thursday through Saturday. No severe weather is expected, but any storms will be slow moving, with heavy downpours and localized flooding possible. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Monday night, clear. Lows around 60. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. At 9 p.m. in the Twin Cities, light rain was falling. It was 72 degrees. The dew point was 64. The relative humidity was 76%. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.06 inches and rising. Around the metro, at Crystal, a thunderstorm was with a temperature of 70. At Lane, rain was falling with a temperature of 70. At Lake Elmo, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 68. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Paul, 68 at South St. Paul, 72 at Lakeville, and 75 at Eden Prairie. Around Minnesota, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69 at St. Cloud, 63 at Duluth, and 66 at International Falls. It was mostly cloudy, at Rochester, 71 at Mankato, 73 at Marino. At Bemidji. At Hibbing, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Wisconsin, at New Richmond, rain was falling, with a temperature of 68. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 71 at La Crosse, 68 at Milwaukee, 66 at Madison, and 64 at Green Bay. At Eau Claire, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 71. Across the eastern Dakotas, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 75 at Fargo, 
71 at Watertown, 77 at Huron, and 76 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy. It was 72 at Sioux City, 66 at Mason City, and 76 at Des Moines. Once again at 9 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was 72 degrees with light rain. This is where the radio station KEC 65 Minneapolis St. Paul on a frequency of 162.550 megahertz. Serving listeners throughout much of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And transmit from the KSTP Eyewitness News Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 9.58 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For tonight, isolated thunderstorms are expected through this evening. No severe weather is expected, but heavy downpours could lead to localized flooding. And an outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. On and off thunderstorms are expected again Thursday through Saturday. No severe weather is expected. Storms will be slow moving, with heavy downpours and localized flooding possible. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. Now the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the mid 60s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. All right, guys, uh, this is the last little bit here. We're going to uh, get off for the night. Um, just a little bit of rain and maybe some thunder across the western metro area. Uh, that's really about it there. We've got uh, some rain uh, just south of Duluth, kind of in that uh, sandstone Moose Lake uh, Hinkley area. Uh, but that's uh, been decreasing in, uh, in intensity and area here the last hour or so. And then uh, we've got, uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, we've got this area that's severe thunderstorm warning uh, of uh, kind of rolling. Uh, again, if I could talk, that'd be great. I don't know why I'm stumbling so much. Uh, in through that Logan County uh, region. Uh, let's see, we got Logan uh, Stutzman, kind of Logan Stutzman and just exiting out at Kidder. Uh, where we've got uh, probably a little bit of hail still left in there. Uh, but uh, at this point, it looks like uh, where, you know, it was looking like there was some uh, uh, a better chance of hail earlier uh, along with the winds. It looks like at this point uh, uh, with these storms, the better, the better, uh, uh, the more likelihood of the severe weather end of it is going to be the uh, stronger winds. It looks like we've got some stronger winds uh, running through, uh, heading towards Streeter and in through central parts of Logan County. Uh, there was a 60 mile per hour wind gust uh, that was reported in uh, Kidder County around uh, Lake Isabel, uh, estimated about 60 miles per hour by a train spotter. So, uh, so uh, some 60 mile per hour winds running through. Uh, Stutzman and Logan counties at this point. Like I said, I think uh, what was there for the hail a little bit earlier, just north of Napoleon, doesn't look uh, quite as impressive at this point anymore. Um, so yeah, looking like mainly just uh, the winds at this uh, is going to be the, the main issue, the main problem here as it kind of runs through uh, Logan County, uh, southern parts of St uh, Stutzman, running through Streeter, Gackle, uh, probably eventually into Lair, Fredonia, and Jaden Column, and Edgley eventually over the next hour or so. Um, but uh, that's really the only uh, severe thunderstorm warning uh, that's out there. Uh, we've got uh, some stronger storms, maybe probably just some heavier rains heading towards Stanton, uh, right along that Lake Sakakawea area. 
so I guess uh, obviously you wouldn't want to be boating out there um, at this point of the night uh, with these storms rolling overhead. But uh, uh, but uh, we're you know looking like it's mostly just some heavy rains heading down to the southeast there. So. Uh, so yeah, we're going to log off here for the night. We're going to uh, end the stream. And like I said earlier, we'll probably try to get on, uh, have another live stream going tomorrow afternoon and uh, kind of cover some of the stuff that uh, might be developing in southern Minnesota later in the day. And also this kind of gives me a chance to make a quick video update and get that out there for you. Uh, so you know what's going on. So everybody have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, everybody have a good night.